Hello guys, this is your reading for this week. This reading is for my Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter guys. It's just a general love reading. See what energy comes up for this week. It's currently going on with Leos. What's going on with Leos currently? What's currently going on with Leos? Look at that. Two cards just fell out. <clears throat> Nine of Swords. Not thinking clearly. Overthinking things. This is Gemini energy here. Worrying. Worrying yourself into a tizzy. Let's see what these are. Four of Swords. And Ace of Wands. It's time to kind of go and self-reflect. Think about where you really want to go from here. What do you really want to do? How do you want this to turn out? Whatever it is that's weighing heavily on you and that you're thinking about, you cannot stop thinking about it. Um, feeling like everything is gone to shit. Whatever it is, it's time for you to take a break from that. Get your head clear. So you can really make the decisions that are necessary for you to be happy, okay? Because I see you struggling. I see you struggling here. Um, feeling stifled. It's crossing Leos. It's crossing Leos here. It's challenging them. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are in a rut at work. Um, maybe this is all about your finances. For some of you, you're feeling like you're not able to get enough work, make enough money. Um, yeah, Virgo energy there. But you're working extra hard and it seems like you're not able to get past a certain point is what I'm feeling for some of you. For others of you, you're feeling like something is not going to work out. And this is outside of work. That no matter what you do, it's not going to pan out in your favor with that Nine of Swords energy. Because the Nine of Swords is all about overthinking shit, right? Thinking things that are not necessarily true. They may have an ounce of truth, but they're not completely true. So that is where you are right now. What is the underlying issue here for Leos? Then we have a page of wands. A page of wands. This page of wands right here in this deck has been showing up for just about every other sign that I've done to date. Okay? I feel that there's not enough interest there's not enough um, uh, push like you're feeling like no matter what you do is not going to pan out the way that you want to but the issue here is you're not allowing yourself to come out of this not of source energy because there is something else that you can do you're just not seeing things clearly. Okay. There's another issue here of divine timing. It may not be your time just yet, but you have to continue to work hard to accomplish it. Everything works out the way that it's supposed to work out, but the timing also has to be right. Okay, so keep that in mind. It may not be time yet, but you keep pushing on and you keep carrying the torch for whatever it is that you're striving towards. Okay, do not give up. What's going on in the recent past for Leo's? Then there's that Eight of Swords. 
not being able to let go of things holding on to things not being able to see your way past things and this is because of what has happened before in your past past situations not just one situation in particular per se but it could be several things that have have you at this point where you're like okay so nothing else has worked out before so why do I expect for this to work out now you're blocked and in order for you to get unblocked you have to take a break from all of this backwards thinking and I'm not talking about like like you don't know how to do something right I'm talking about thinking back to the past thinking about what has been done before think about how you can change your situation and how to push towards what it is that you want because if you stay stuck in the past with these thoughts you're gonna stay stuck in the past you're gonna stay stuck in a rut right we manifest what we believe if you believe that you're not going to obtain something then you're probably not going to obtain something if you feel like no matter what I do good Lord it's not gonna work out in my favor then it's not gonna work out in your favor guys okay again that's Gemini energy there crowning thoughts for Leo crowning thoughts for Leo Temperance. You want peace. Sagittarius energy there. You want peace. You want quiet. You want to remove yourself from the hustle and bustle of, of everyday life, of your current situation. You just want to take a time out. You want serenity. At the same time, I'm feeling like you guys are walking towards someone. There, there's something that involves another person here. And I feel like you want to get on the same page with this person. And I think in your head, you know, you want to initiate something, but then you don't. You want to, but you don't. And I don't know whether it's because you you always are the one that does it, that reaches out, that initiates things, that it's like, you know, it, I, I'm tired of doing that. Because whenever I do that, then, I mean, it, it never goes my way anyway. So, but I see you definitely wanting to, you want, some, you want a peace of mind. You want peace. What's coming in for Leo's? The Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune there. Sagittarius, Pisces, Energy. I see you clearing your way. Right now, it's like you're boxed in. Here, well, here in the past, boxed in, present moment, boxed in by your own thoughts, ruminating thoughts, playing over and over and over again until they change. A little bit but they change for the worse here with the nine of swords not only you're thinking about things that actually happened before in the past and the nine of swords you're thinking about things that that don't even really exist for real they're not reality okay here in the will of fortune things are changing for you so I see you like coming out of of your head and freeing yourself here in the will of fortune but you're standing in this circle and there's things all around you that you can do. And I feel you in the near future standing there and looking at the different things that you can do to change your situation. It's just a matter of which one of these things you're going to choose or which one of these things you're going to do first. Okay. How is Leo? 
viewing their situation? How is Leo viewing their situation? Justice. You feel like you deserve better than what is going on right now. You feel like you've almost been sacrificed. But I think now you're feeling like I need to get out of this victim mode and, you know, be more of like, you know, go get my shit, not allow things to happen to, to me, but to actually make something happen. I feel like there's something that that you want justice for. Do you feel like there's been something that was done to you that was not fair? Libra energy is here. Something you are deeming that is un that's unfair. It's like that shit is not right. What's the influence here for Leo's? Page of Cups. Page of Cups has been showing up too. Page of Cups. Hmm. I think you want an apology from somebody. And, and it's just not sitting well with you. You feel wrong by somebody here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. You definitely feel wrong by someone. And I think you're wanting somebody to reach out and, and say, hey, you know, my bad. I apologize. Can we agree to disagree? King of Swords. But this person, this King of Swords, is standing their ground. I think that's the real issue here. This King of Swords is standing their ground. And they're not reaching out to apologize. They're standing by whatever they said to you. Whatever they did to you. However you were offended. And they've gone on about their merry way. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Hopes or fears for Leo. Hopes or fears for Leo. The Knight of Wands. You just want to move past this shit. Get over it. Kind of like shake that shit off and keep on moving. But, you know, we both know that whatever somebody did to offend you is still front and center. It's bothering the hell out of you. It's bothering you. And I think you just don't want it to like affect you like it's been affecting you. You don't want that anymore. That's a thing. Such a cheerious energy there. Overall outcome for Leo's. Overall outcome for Leo's. King of Cups. I think it just appears that this King of Swords is very cold <laughs> because I think they really do care for you. Um, the thing about the King of um, Swords is that they come off aloof. They come off as non-feeling. Um, all they want to do is talk. All they want to do is give you advice. But deep down inside, a lot of times this person has a heart of gold they are just not comfortable showing it because they always want to come across as very strong and very assertive but because they don't want people to get it twisted so i definitely get that your king your queen even if it's a female um they're here and they do care for you they do love you i feel like this person is just somebody that 
they're not easily persuaded from the things that they believe. Um, they're not easily persuaded to behave in any other way than they feel necessary to behave. Okay, so just because they're not reacting in a way that you feel like they should does not mean that they don't care. Because I feel like they're here. I also feel like even if this person um, does not respond in a way that you want them to, or you haven't even spoken to them and you don't know what the hell they're doing and you're assuming that this person is very cold and they're not willing to offer you an apology they're not trying to bridge a gap with you I think you're gonna be okay you're going to take the time needed to get your thoughts together to figure out where you go from here aside from what this person is doing because I think right now the way you're feeling has everything to do with how they are responding to you or their, their lack of action towards you even. Okay, Scorpio energy there. So that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.